Now, I began with this somewhat verbose introduction, first because I know of your interest in Sufism and more importantly because I think your whole life in politics and before that is a very colorful and I think very authentic illustration of following your heart's desires, which was very central to Rumi's teachings and the teachings of other uh, mystics. You're going to turn 70 this year. What keeps you powered? Well, let me say one thing. Um, when a, when a human is born, uh, within him he's trying to look for God. And this is a constant journey towards God. A lot of people, unfortunately, never ask the two questions. They never ask themselves, what is the purpose of existence? And what happens to me after I die? Mm. But whenever they ask these questions, it takes them towards God. The only way you can have the uh, answer to this question, the purpose of ex existence, what happens to us when we die, mm. is in religion. Mm. And all religions answer that question. Science doesn't. So the, the two ways of uh, existence, one is the spiritual and the other is the material. And uh, for me, if you are on the spiritual uh, road, then you will always be looking for how you can uh, face your God after you die, that you have fulfilled your responsibility as a human being. And our responsibility as, as a human being is the more God gives us, the more responsibility we have to lift to help other human beings.